now first thing very first thing you want to do when you get your tablet is to click on the menu it's going to ask you to set up your uh, webos account and it's going to ask you some primary things which you have to go through once you deal with it um, you click on that menu button and then you go to the menu now this is uh, apps these are the basic apps that comes with it these are downloads what you which you're going to download from uh, hp's app store these are the favorites you can add them whatever apps are your favorite you want to use the most you can add it here and these are the settings now you can also uh, switch by clicking on the tabs or you can just swipe it right to left to get there so first thing you want to do when you get your tablet is you want to go to system update now this is what uh, this is going to give you an update for your uh, current OS. Now, I'm not sure which uh, which version you're going to get, but the first version I had was really bad. It was uh, really slow and it was freezing a lot, it was rebooting a lot. So, it was crashing. So, the point is if you if you want to have a stable OS, just go ahead and update it right away. It's going to take 15 minutes and uh, so you set up your Wi-Fi, and as soon as you set up your Wi-Fi, go update your system. Now, as you see, this this is uh, this is updated. It's still a little slow and uh, scratching, but it's much better than it was before. So please do so. From any any of the inner apps, if you wanna go back, all you have to do is you have to swipe and then click on the menu icon. That will bring you back to the settings. Unfortunately, there is no way to go exactly back to the place where we were. Um, of course, uh, this is accounts where you set up for email, Skype, Yahoo Messenger. Uh, this has an integrated integrated messenger system. Means uh, all your uh, Yahoo, Gmail, um, AIM, everything is combined in this one, all in one. So it's really great. So you set up your accounts, your uh, your uh, WebOS, um, I mean uh, HP's uh, App Store account. Uh, this is for backup, Bluetooth. Uh, you can adjust date and time, 24-hour format. This and that. Um, this is device info. It's uh, really helpful if you're planning to sell your device. You bought it cheap and you want to get rid of it. You bought a lot of those and you want to resell it. So this is a handy tool. You go to device info. At the end, there is an option called Reset Options. You go to Reset Options, it's going to give you all the options what you can do with it. You can erase it, erase the app, erase the data. You can do the full erase and secure erase. So this is for uh, for the ones who want to resell or give it to somebody or return it. Now, um, another thing I wanted to show you is uh, Exhibition Mode. This is like a screen saver of WebOS. So when you go to exhibition mode, you can choose what you want to have as your screen saver. So here I'm going to have uh, time. Uh, some of the apps you can install on it. These are installed apps. Um, photos, videos, agenda, and I guess Facebook comes with it. And you can click on find more and choose whatever you want to download. So I'm going to show you what is exhibition. You start. Now this is the AccuWeather uh, exhibition. Now if you want to change your screensaver or exhibition, uh, as I said you click on a top left corner and you can choose between time, AccuWeather, uh, WebOnX and the wallpapers I have. So I'm going to click on a time. So as I said this is basically like a screensaver. You can choose the uh, whatever uh, exhibits you like. Another, uh, another thing I'm going to show you is a software manager. So this is, uh, as it says, it's a software manager. It can show you what apps you have. And uh, if you want to manage, you want to check the version histories. Um, if you want to delete them or write a review, you can just go here. Let's say I want to see uh, beat the traffic. So I click on it and it's giving me version history, size, uh, I can review that, report a problem or delete it. 
levels, go back. Final setting feature I'm going to show you is health. HP designed a really nice health menu. Um, the reason why it's nice is uh, uh, you can you can go to live chat if you have an account set up. You can go to live chat right away uh, without any any trouble. So basically, it's, it's simple. If you want to search, uh, there are tips, clips, uh, featured, and the care pack if you want to buy. So let's say if you're in a tips. And uh, you have a question about exhibition, so you click on it, and it will take you to help. Now, if you want to go back to the uh, to the tips, what you do is there is a little uh, tab here. You hold on to it, and you move it to the right, and it's gone. So you're back. So this is a universal feature. Uh, like when you when you are browsing your emails, um, that's the same for it. So. And if you ever need help at any point, you just click on a live chat and it's going to take you to a, a chat place where it's going to show you your email address and then it's going to ask you if you want to connect. You click on a connect and that's it, you're there. So this is a really nice interface desi designed for the help. So I'm going to exit it because I don't need a help right now. Show you HP's app catalog or HP's app store. So first you click on it. It will ask you to set up account. It's not going to ask you for credit card information in the beginning, unlike uh, Apple. You can you can if you're if you're just interested in free apps, it's not going to ask you for credit card information, but it's going to ask you for email and other information. So you can put it in. Now this is a feature. It's, uh, it's really similar to Apple Store's uh, uh, App Store. So, features, uh, categories, you can choose from a category. And when you go in the categories, it shows you uh, recommended, paid, free, and new apps. Uh, if you have any apps on a bookmark, you can bookmark or search for it. You can click on search and there is a search bar right there. Now, uh, if you want to install any app, you just simply go to the app and for your touchpad, you have to look for four touchpad apps. If it's if it doesn't say four touchpad, let's say if I scroll down and like these apps, they are not for the touchpad. They are for uh, the mobile uh, cell phones, uh, smaller devices. So it's not gonna be fitting to your screen, and it's not gonna work. It's not op optimized for your tablet, in short. So if you wanna um, install anything, or before installing, if you wanna review review any app, let's say I wanna see Photo Photo Effects Tablet Edition. So if I don't wanna buy it, but I wanna see what's inside, I tap on it, and. Uh, there are pictures, I mean screenshots, description, reviews, uh, positive, negative, um, the ratings, it's much detailed. And if you want to buy, finally you tap on uh, uh, the buy button and uh, you can buy it. So let me show you one uh, free app. I'm going to purchase a free app right now to show you how it works. You can pause it in between and uh, I think this is okay. So I see free here. I click on free, it says uh, it's uh, using the location services, continue, continue, and then as you see, it's installing already. And once you're done installing it, it's going to ask you to launch. So you can either launch or you can just uh, disregard it. So this is what happens when the app is not optimized for your uh, tablet. It's gonna it's gonna work like uh, in a smaller screen. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna show you how to manage uh, manage your apps. So obviously, if you wanna delete it, you hold on to an app, and then you see little X here. You click on it delete it is going to ask you to confirm you say remove and 
it will be deleted. Um, if you want to move the apps to your favorite folder, what you do is you hold on to it and then you move it across and you leave it so it's gonna move to your favorites. Whatever apps you like most, you hold on to it and you move it. When you are done moving the apps, you click on a done here in the corner this side or you can just click anywhere it's gonna it's gonna put you right back.